Guys, most of us know that whenever we are buying an AC, we should focus at the star rating sticker and generally more stars are always better. But guys, in this particular video, we are going to talk about a few fine points which will help you read this uh, BEE sticker or as I call it, the Kundli of your AC like an expert. And yes, uh, there's a lot of cheating going on these days. A lot of you people are buying 1.2 ton AC at the price of 1.5 ton and then you guys come to my channel and complain that sir my ac is not cooling properly so make sure you watch this video entirely because after watching it i guess there will be no chance of cheating with you let's talk about the first point that is the star rating so i'll put an example over here on this uh, screen and you can see that on the top you have these uh, red colored stars and generally more stars means more efficiency which means less electricity bill in the green font you can see icer value what is icer that is Indian Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio. Now, there's this government body which is known as Bureau of Energy Efficiency. And what they do is they test out a lot of AC models and they award this uh, particular efficiency sticker or efficiency rating to your AC model. So, how is this ICER calculated? Alright, so to calculate it, what you can do is you can take the cooling capacity of your AC. For example, if it's 5000 watt, you can divide it by the ICER value. In this example, we'll just uh, divide 5000 by 5.2 and the effective answer is the nominal wattage or the nominal running power consumption of your AC, for example, 960 watts. So in simple language, you can understand that more ICER value equals to less energy and less energy equals to less electricity bill. Now, let me remind you that these are very nominal figures and they are likely to change depending on the size of your room depending on the direct sunlight, depending on the settings. Alright, if you are using it on 24 or if you are using it on 18 or 19, that's going to have an effect. Let's take a look at next point that is label period. And here in this example, you can see that the label is valid from 1st July 2022 to 31st December 2024. So next year, there will be a new label, new year, new label 2025, something like that. And what do you guys uh, need to keep in mind when buying an AC. For example, let's talk about summer 2024. Alright, so June, July 2024. If you are buying a new AC, make sure that this particular date, this particular validity period it is at least till December 2024. Okay, don't buy any kind of AC which has an outdated or expired sticker. <clears throat> the next thing is appliance type. You can see RAC that is residential air conditioner and in front of it you can see split or window depending on your AC type. Then we have the brand. So whatever brand you like it could be LG, Samsung, Carrier depends on you. Next comes model and this particular model is very essential if you are comparing two different ACs be it either online or offline. Generally what happens is guys that say if you visit a mall or if you visit a showroom and you ask for 1.5 ton 5 star AC from LG, alright? And then the um, service, uh, the marketing head shows you that, sir, this is the particular AC, this is the price. And then what happens is that you try to search the same thing on Amazon and you see an LG AC which is still 1.5 ton 5 star. But if you look at the finer details, the price is different, the features are different. Now, uh, coming here, to my particular Samsung Winfrey, I have explained a lot of features uh, with respect to this model in the um, uh, Samsung remote guide. You can find the video over here. And I get a lot of comments that, sir, uh, whenever you are explaining the features of this AC, your AC has got Wi-Fi, your AC has got freeze wash, your AC has got n number of features. But my AC looks the same like yours. It is still a 1.5 ton model and I don't have any of those features in my AC. So. So guys, what happens is that this particular long model number, if it is different, the amount of features, the amount of maybe performance that you're going to have is going to be different, even though the AC is listed at 1.5 ton or 1 ton or whatever 5 star, even if that title looks the same, this particular long model is what you are going to focus on. Next you have is year. Say for example, again, this is an LG AC. It was designed in 2024 and the label period or the label date is valid till December 2024. Here's one more label and this AC was designed in 2022 but the label is still valid till December 2024. So guys if you find this uh, 2022 edition 
uh, very cheaply maybe you can buy it because the label period is still valid but yes don't buy it before you watch this particular video where i've explained that should you consider buying a slightly older version of your ac make sure to check it out after watching this particular video all right let's come to the cooling capacity and heck lot of cheating which is happening since 2023 with respect to cooling capacity first let's discuss what is this cooling capacity uh, a lot of people are confused that okay my ac has a cooling capacity of 5000 watts so as soon as i'm going to plug my ac into the wall it's going to like you know suck 5000 watts from my uh, mains meter and i'm going to get a huge amount of electricity bill no cooling capacity is not the power consumption or it's not the load of your ac cooling capacity is the amount of heat which the AC can move from your room to the outdoor unit. That is what cooling capacity is. Basically, it's the capacity of cooling. That's it. It's not electrical. And I, what I see is that even a lot of really large YouTubers make mistake with this thing because the cooling capacity is rated in thermal watts. And thermal watts are different than electrical watts. All right. Maybe in some other video we are going to discuss on this thing. So make sure to subscribe. It's a really technical but really interesting topic. If you want to see the actual electrical power consumption of an AC, I have a bunch of videos over here or you can go to the description and find them. I guess I have tested almost every brand and you can check out the actual power consumption of those ACs. So back to cooling capacity. One ton AC should have a cooling capacity of roughly 3500 watts. Exactly it is 3517. A 1.5 ton AC should have a cooling capacity of 5280 watts. Uh, this is a particular website which uh, you can use and I am providing the link to this website in description or in the first comment and here you can input the cooling capacity and convert it to genuine tons. So if there's a cheating going on with respect to tons, you can find it out over here. And guys, what has happened that since 2023 now there is a lot of uh, cheating with respect to cooling capacity. So a lot of uh, so-called 1.5 ton ACs have started coming with 4800 or even 4400 watts of cooling capacity and the label and the pricing is still 1.5 tons but then it is not genuine 1.5 tons so guys avoid these kind of low cooling capacity acs at all costs if your ac is listed as 1.5 ton it should have a very minimum cooling capacity of 5000 watts if you are buying a one ton ac make sure that it has a cooling capacity very minimum of 3500 watts let's run a test this particular ac has a cooling capacity of 4400 watts now how many tons is this let me know in the comment section below guys if you want to avoid any kind of confusion with respect to cooling capacity or genuine tonnage with respect to these acs then i'll recommend you check out my ac cheat sheet it's a simple Google Doc file. You can find the link in description or in the first comment. And what I've done is I've listed all the brand wise ACs. I have also mentioned the cooling capacities and I've also mentioned the pros and cons of each particular brand, which is going to make your selection really easy. Let's talk about the next point that is electrical consumption. This thing is in units, kilowatt hours. Now what BEE does is that they have a standardized cycle. They run it for 1600 hours and they test variety of things with that AC and this is very similar to say whenever you're buying a car okay you go to the dealer and you can check out the ARAI. ARAI is again another government body which provides uh, mileage certification for the cars and uh, you can often see that oh this particular car is uh, listed for 16 kilometers per liter but guys what happens that uh, uh, whenever you buy that particular car and you're out on your vacation the actual fuel economy you see is just 12 kilometers per liter so all of these uh, values you know the, the bwe or the one from ARAI, take them with a huge grain of salt because they are not accurate and they cannot be accurate because they depend on a whole lot of features all right for example the sunlight the outdoor temperature this that so you can't really compare them so don't pay a lot of attention to this energy consumption or units but yes what i can suggest is uh, i can give you a few golden tips to reduce your ac consumption and you can watch this particular video in the i button or in the description after watching this video let's move ahead that is compressor type if it says variable then this is an inverter type compressor or an inverter technology based ac which is able to change its speeds up and down as required if it says fixed speed 
or single speed this is a non inverter ac all right and if you're interested in buying various kinds of inverter acs or even non inverter acs for the latest 2024 edition or even beyond i'm going to provide a bunch of affiliate links at the bottom of this video make sure to check it out and use those affiliate links if you want to support me the next point is heat pump and here in india generally what you will see is no which means that is it is a normal cooling type ac if it says yes then it is an hot and cold ac which means that in addition to cooling okay for the summers it can also provide heating for the use in winters but uh, they are not very common in india and if you are interested in buying an ac which has heating feature then you can check this particular video we are not going to stretch this video because it's already getting pretty long all right so now i guess uh, till the end of this video you learned how to read the table or as i say it how to read the kundli of your air conditioner but then guys there are many points which are beyond the label for example what kind of tonnage is suitable for your room what is the best possible star rating for your application or what about these particular features are they useful or not so guys to make that uh, thing easy for you i have made this ac ultimate buying guide you can there will be a card over here you can directly click on it and be the expert in choosing the perfect air conditioner for you so that's it for this uh, neat little video guys i hope you enjoyed it take care and have a nice day